so often after the death of my loved one, many would say to me, I cannot imagine what you must be going through. I would tell them, if they really want to know, they must only close their eyes and place themselves in the following story. You, like all of us, are the captain of your own ship. You set out long ago to sail the seas of life, but only after planning your journey across the calmest of waters. The map you laid out was certainly intended to provide a lasting journey of smooth sailing, all the way to your eventual destination, which lies beyond the distant horizon. Imagine yourself sailing through life, nothing but clear blue skies in your mind's eye. Picture your magnificent ship now. It is beautiful, is it not? You are proud of the great effort you gave to build your vessel before striking out on your own. At the moment, with a steady but gentle wind filling the sails, the bow of your ship seems to easily split the waters ahead and leaves almost no wake behind. Your carefully charted course has brought you many delightful experiences as well as wonderful treasures, which you lovingly carry on board as you sail on your sea of glass. Those treasures certainly bring great joy to your life. Suddenly, without warning, the skies go dark and the winds begin to howl, rocking your vessel from side to side. Where did this come from? All seemed so calm just moments ago. All seems so normal. Lightning flashes across your eyes. A huge bolt strikes the deck with a thunderous crash, sending wood and railings flying. You are stunned and blinded momentarily, only to open your eyes to discover that one of your most precious treasures is gone. You panic and frantically search for that which you cherish so dearly until, in almost disbelief, you realize it has been taken from your ship by a storm which appeared out of nowhere. The storm is not over though. As you try to comprehend what has happened with your precious cargo, a giant wave abruptly and violently breaks across your ship and crashes down over the decks. The force almost washes you right off the ship and into the rolling seas. All you can do in this unthinkable moment is grab onto something, anything, to keep you from being swept overboard. All the while, wave after wave beats down on you, threatening to rip you from that tenuous grasp you managed to hold to. Your ship, thankfully, has a strong foundation. It may submerge with each pounding wave, but it brings you back to the surface between each crash. In one fleeting moment, when your head is just above water, you attempt to grab onto the wheel of your ship. If you can only turn the nose directly into the oncoming waves, maybe you can ride the swells and gain some control in the storm. Yet, the wheel is unresponsive. It is stuck, as if wreckage from the devastation has become lodged in the rudder. For now, there will be no riding above the waves, and the relentless pounding continues. Somehow, you remain on deck by just barely holding on, although not always sure to what. Each wave hits almost one after another, and you are pushed under only able to come back up long enough to catch a quick gasp of air. The sudden storm, which has come out of nowhere, seems to go on and on for days, weeks, and maybe even months. You are no longer sure of time, and everything just seems so overwhelming. With that gasp of air between each wave, you frantically search for your valued maps and charts, which you so carefully plotted for your life's journey. If only you can get your bearings and all the chaos, things might at least seem a little less confusing. However, 
the charts are gone, having been swept into the churning waters by the storm. Oh, how you hope for guidance. Your maps actually matter little at this point, as you take notice of the destruction to your once billowing sails. What pushed your ship smoothly through calm waters only moments before now flutters, tattered and torn. For now, you are surviving at the mercy of the storm. Days go by as you remain tossed by the seas, wandering aimlessly. Then, over time and almost unnoticed by you, the roar of the wind seemed to soften, as if only just a bit. The waves, too, are still coming, but they no longer build so high before they crash down on you now. They are still there, though, still coming incessantly. There is just a little more time between each wave now, and you can almost catch your breath fully before the next one washes down. With a little more time now between the waves, you actually begin to tend to your ship. You have moments to work on the rudder and eventually free it from the debris which kept you from steering into the waves. Then, with the ability to take those waves head on, you find time to begin mending what sails you can. You feel a bit more seaworthy with the ability to move with the wind and even steer your ship, albeit sluggishly. However, you still have no idea where you are, or for that matter, where you are going. Your cherished treasure has been taken from you, your charts are gone, and you sail blindly in troubled seas, where the waves still crash down and threaten to take you under. With this seemingly unending turmoil, you soon begin to feel even more despondent and wonder how long you can go on. Then, there in the distance at the very edge of your vision, you see a light shining out across the foaming waters. You steer towards it, desperately fighting the winds and the waves to locate this source of hope. To your surprise, you soon recognize that the hope comes from a beautiful lighthouse perched high on the rocky shore. Moving purposely again, Yet with ragged sails and a damaged rudder, you are gratefully guided by the lighthouse into a much needed safe harbor. Limping to a welcome pier, you meet others who provide support, provisions, and repairs to the most fragile parts of your ship. You will not stay long in safe harbor, however. It is not your destination in life. You must continue to sail towards your horizon Although now, without the old chart you once relied on, and without that precious cargo you love so dearly. With support of the other souls who have journeyed these troubled seas, you plot your new course. One which will keep you close to the shores on your future journey. You see, the storm may have peaked, but it rolls on. The winds and the waves may have ebbed, but only just a bit now. Along with the storm's damage, it has also taken you far from the original course you once sailed. Yet there is only one direction forward towards your final destination, and it will take you back through the troubled seas from whence you came. There is no other route. Once back at sea, the waves will crash down and the winds will howl, but not nearly as hard or as often as before and you have mapped out the lighthouses and safe havens along the way, knowing you can always count on others who, like you, have lost so much. But, most importantly, you have learned that the precious cargo you thought you lost has actually become part of the foundation of your beautiful ship and travels forward, always with you, always in your life. You can rely on your safe harbors along the way. When you feel beaten, battered, and need support from the waves, 
you will again take refuge with those who sail a similar journey. Together, you will help each other mend tattered sails and repair jammed rudders. Then, each of you will continue your own journey to once again find calm, glassy waters across the horizon. This is what it is like to continue on after the loss of a dear loved one. Not the end. Instead, the beginning of our journey with peace and purpose.